Hello students, welcome to Volley Board. I am Yashovardhan Mishra, your friend and your GM mentor. In this video, I am going to tell you what all the important documents you will need for your RRBPO interview. So let's see one by one which all the important documents you have to take along with you for your interview process. So starting with number one is your interview call letter. So you have to take out a printout of the interview call letter. You must have received that interview call letter on your official email ID. So you can access your interview letter and you can take out a print of this call letter and I, I would recommend you to, to take at least two or three printouts for your call letter. The second one is your online application form. So valid system generated printout of the online application form registered for CRP RRBs 12, right? So you have to take out this particular uh, application form, right? From your, again, uh, you must have, uh, you, must, you can take out this uh, by uh, putting your registration number and your roll number, you can uh, get the access to your application form so take out a print for this also so at least two to three printouts so try always try to make at least two to three sets for all the documents so in case if, even if you lose one of the set you have at least two for your backup because it is the interview state so you cannot take any risk now the third thing is your proof of date of birth so generally we will take your ssc class 10th basically class 10th mark sheet as a uh, proof of your birth certificate all right so birth certificate for SSC or class 10th certificate showing your date of birth. So <clears throat> those who are from CBSC board, say ICSC board or let's say the local board also, you can take out the print of your class 10th mark sheet or the passing certificate in which the date of birth is clearly mentioned. All right. Then one photo identity proof you have to take with you. So it can be your Aadhaar card, your PAN card, driving license, voter ID, bank passbook with a photograph. So the best thing is take the Aadhaar card. All right, so everyone has one Aadhaar card, so at least take a two or three printout. And one, one very important thing is you should take the uh, photocopy from both the front as well as the back. Okay, so that is your photo identity proof. Now coming to your graduation or education related mark sheets, right? So mark sheets or certificates for graduation or equivalent qualification you should take. Let's say if you are, if you are doing BTEC, if you have completed your BTEC, take the, your degree and your passing certificate. Uh, take a printout of that thing and let's say if you are pursuing if you are in the final year okay you can take a provisional degree certificate right and you can uh, put it here all right clear so in which the results declared before 21 6 2023 because see till this date this is the deadline and before this you have to mention that the results have been declared right so this is the cutoff <coughs> So remember this thing for this uh, for this year it would be 2024 all right so this year would be 2024 all right next we have experience certificate so if you are a working professional all right if you are doing any job you can put your experience certificate of your companies right to the previous company or something else in this always and see self attest that thing very important all these documents have to be self attested means you have to sign on that okay remember one thing next coming to your caste certificates so if you belong to sc st or obc community you have to take your cars caste certificates with you all right so it is issued by a competent authority in a prescribed format so you can take it from a tehsildar right or from the sdm of your area and you can bring this thing to your interview process so I always make a take a two or three copies with you clear and then income and assets certificates so if you are applying for this economically weaker section category you have to keep a proof of your income and asset certificate. So this is also issued by a notified authority or government of India. So you can contact that person and you can take that particular certificate with you. So always keep one or two copy with you. Now, if you have this disability certificates, so if you, if you are, if, if you have any kind of disability, right? So you have to take with you your disability certificate in which it is clearly mentioned that how much percentage disability you are facing. Okay. So again, it is issued by the district medical board or person with benchmark disability. Okay. So here so you can get your disability certificate. All right. Then certificate for scribe usage. So let's say if you have taken the help of some scribe. So a scribe is one who basically writes your paper because since if you, if you are not able to write, if you are physically challenged, and you are not able to write you will appoint one person who will do that for you okay so if you have taken the help for that so you can take a certificate for scribe uses also all right 
So if your scribe was used, submit the details of the scribe in the prescribed format. So they, they will provide you a proper format if you have used this scribe. Okay. And then you have to give a certificate for that also. Then if you are an ex-serviceman, so you have to give it, uh, let's say if you are already serving in army or some medical uh, armed forces, you have to take a NOC or let's say declaration from the from your office that you would be released by this particular date okay and if you are ex serviceman you have to provide that documents also so service discharge book pension payment order right proof of rank certificate of upcoming release all this thing you have to give it before 28 june 2024 so you can ask your if you are serving you can ask your office the official authority they will provide you all these things so these are the certain list of documents you have to provide all right so don't miss anything otherwise while when, uh, when, once you clear the interview and the all the documents will be checked so you have to be prepared with at least two set uh, two to three sets of all these documents and all those ids the market they have to be self attested right so all this thing would be required right and especially those who are applying for the category certificates you have to be very sure that the proper format has been followed all right so here is the list of documents so again let's quickly go through that interview call letter online application form you can uh, download from the website your proof of the date of birth it is a class 10th mark sheet or certificate your photo id your graduation and education related uh, degree so if you have if you have completed your btech place that degree certificate or the passing certificate okay uh, experience certificate if you are if you are a working professional you have to put your experience certificate from your company they will provide you the hr of your company will give that to you then caste certificate and income certificate if you are applying for any of these categories you have to take it from your from a proper government authority okay and the last one is the disability certificate and certificate of scrib also it, this will be issued by the district medical board and the ex service documents so this should be provided by your armed forces office so these are the certain documents which you have to keep it very handy and don't 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 miss any of these documents because it will create a problem so try to have all these documents at least two to three sets ready with you all right so this is all about the important list of documents which you will require for this rrb po interview all right all right then i'll see you in the next video till then have a great day everyone and jai hind